Hey y'all, welcome to the Lion's Den. I am Camille and I will be doing the weekly tarot for March 29th through April the 3rd for all fire signs. Now, hey, fire signs, that's Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, you. I want you to keep in mind that this reading is definitely intuitive. It's based off of your energies, my energies, and the cards. Now, if you are here, there is definitely something that you need to get out of this message. It's up to you what you want to obtain out of the message, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and ask the angel spirit guides, ancestors, and God, what do we all, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, it's fire signs, need to know for the week of March the 29th through April the 3rd? What do we all need to know, ancestors, spirit guides, angel, and God? Angels and God. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to gain knowledge from you. Hope you all, fire signs, had a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous, and blessed day today. I know I did because I am a fellow fire sign. So, I, oh, fire sun sign. I am a Taurus moon and a Cancer rising. It's good to look that up, you guys. It's good to know. All right, so all fire signs, this is what the angels want us to know for this week coming. If you believe, all right, if you believe, if you believe. Let's go ahead and get to some tarot. Thank you, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and God for allowing us to get some insight. Thank you for allowing me to become a messenger. And thank you for the divinity that you have given me, given us all, because we are here and you have to believe. All right. What do we all fire signs need? To, oh, we got extra card popped out. It, it's face down. So we're going to see what it is. It might be upside down. All right. Thank you, ancestor spirit guides, angels and God. What do we all fire signs need to know for the week, March 29th of April? All right. So our current situation the hermit time to go within fire signs what's driving us death wow you guys two major arcana back to back fire signs now what's benefiting us all the ten of cups all right cheers 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 what's crowning us all the ace of swords any ace is good it's time to go within and Contemplate, analyze, and our outcome energy. Eight of Wands. Hey, that's fire. That's us. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this reading, if you believe. What you need right now is faith. You can have what you desire, but you must believe that it can be so. Stay positive and visualize that outcome you're hoping for. Set aside all negativity or pessimism in favor of a sunny outlook. The law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. If our perception is that we deserve great things, then we will attract happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in our own self-worth, then our experiences will match that energy. Believe in yourself and your cherished dreams. All right, fire signs, because now you're moving on to Hermit. Now, you guys, we got two major arcana, the number nine and number 13. Make sure you all look them up, okay? All right, so we got the Hermit. This curious character is a universal mascot of me time. Who knows what life has handed him? The important thing is he knows that the best way to deal with is to retreat to a place of quiet reflection and fly solo for a bit. The Hermit encourages you to clear your social calendar and fill your time with meditation, walks through nature, and possibly some fervent journaling. A little chapter of solitude will reset your mind, open your heart, and if you're anything like this old soul, lead to some life-altering wisdom. Dress code, long white beard, and a gnarled staff. Here's the affirmation. I quiet my noisy mind and look within. To know myself is to realize 
I'm pretty okay with myself. Okay. Now moving on to death. Something has got to, got to, got to come to an end. Fire signs. All right. This poor guy is often misunderstood. So before turning death from your doorstep, no, he usually signifies a metaphorical death as opposed to a literal one. Phew. A major shift or rebirth is about to take place, but not until there's a final wrap on some aspect of your current situation. This may come as a relief, like woohoo, I hated that job, or somewhat daunting, but wait, there was a gym in the office, or it could be a bit of both. Either way, you can trust that this end is for your highest good and most awesome potential. After all, in order to become a butterfly, a caterpillar first must clean out his desk and turn in his parking pass. Here's the affirmation. I move on to the next phase of my life with ease, trust, and a greater respect for the courage of caterpillars. Okay, now we're moving on because the Ten of Cups is our benefiter. So go ahead. Now that's water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. The Ten of Cups is all about transcending joy and ultimate harmony, but not just generic run-of-the-mill transcending joy and ultimate harmony. Nah, this card applies particularly to your home and family. That means if you put a ring on it recently, it seems you've made a great choice. If you have it, maybe this is a preview of coming attractions. Ring or no? You're being blessed by the relationship gods. So keep your eyes peeled for some sort of nurturing and rewarding partnership that fills your heart beyond all expectations. Hopefully you can spot it. Here's the affirmation. I am finally ready for a spiritual partnership that leaves my past in its ever loving dust. Nice knowing you, less than perfect. Okay, moving on to what's crowning us in this Ace of Swords. And that's air energy, and that is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Like a lance of lucidity, the Ace of Swords signifies a powerful new beginning and an elevated understanding of the world around you. Way to elevate your consciousness, bruh. Though the blade is sharp, it's not used for mincing. It cuts through malarkey and gets to the point. It offers clear thinking, honest communication, creative vision, and aha moments of plenty. Consider this card the cosmic LASIK procedure that'll remedy years of cloudy sight. Focus ensues, epiphanies abound, bring in the orchestra and sing. Here's the affirmation. I see everything. I know more than ever. I still don't understand cloud computing. <laughs> but now we're moving on to the eight of wands. And you see that pretty unicorn? Hey, that is time to ride on one. Yes. Okay, eight of wands. Fire energy, which is us. All right. Your life's been hit with a shot of intergalactic adrenaline. And out of nowhere... Things seem to be falling into place. Relish this powerful time, marked by productive work, never boring relationships, and trips that would make a jet setter's head spin. Who are you anyway? Wait, don't pause that answer. You are a you are in a fiery, inspiry whirlwind of a time, and you should lasso every second of it. Now giddy up. You've got a lot more of that top shelf living to do. All right, now here's the affirmation. I zestfully participate in the magic of my life. After all, what is a magic show without volunteers from the audience? Okay, now you guys, we just gonna go ahead and get into it, Fire Signs. First and foremost, you have to believe. You have something going. You got something going. The door is open for you. You have to be a believer. Come into self. Stop listening to others, okay? Because sometimes you can listen to others too much and they'll cloud your judgment, okay? Because it's time to come within, all right? It's time to come within. 
go ahead and let it crumble. Let it all crumble so you can rebuild and have everything that you need. Because, hey, you got some love coming in. You got some love. You got a new home life coming in that's going to have your back. You just got to make sure that you see it clearly. Because abundance and opportunities are waiting for you to lasso them and ride out. All right. It's time to ride out, fire signs. You got to believe, though. It starts with you. You've got to believe. If you fail to believe, you see that? See how bright and clear her mind is? That's why you got the Ace of Swords crowning you because it's time to cut the malarkey. Okay, time to cut through the malarkey and see that you have all the power that you need. You just got to believe. All right, fire signs. I want to thank you so much for coming and watching. Make sure you follow me on Lines Dentero. Make sure you hit that bell on the YouTube channel so you can watch every uplifting video that I do, every video that comes to you from Camille and the Lions Den. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. And I appreciate you for following me. Thank you so much. I pray this resonates with all of you, fire signs, because guess what? It's time for you to believe in yourself. If anything, believe in yourself. If you never take anything else from this message, believe in yourself. Take that, all right? Have a beautiful and blessed day and get inspired. Okay, fire signs, I apologize because I forgot to give us our extra reading card, which was the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that real quick because it still has to just let you know about your coin, okay? Now that's Earth Energy. Looks like you have a big goal in your binoculars. The Eight of Pentacles says the best way to reach it is focus, discipline, and a supersized portion of determination. In other words, put some motivational jock rock on those headphones and start meat punching, board breaking, and whatever else gets you in the mood for all around butt kicking. Be it starting a new career or learning a new skill, you're committed to becoming the very best actor version of you, and the universe is cheering you on. Just don't make it watch you drink raw eggs. Here's the affirmation. I am a champion and I conquer everything I touch. Whoops, didn't mean to conquer that entire quiche. You guys, it was just actual affirmation and affirming what I read. Get into it. Get inspired.